Good morning. I'm here just to see what's going on. Uh, first hand with the Super Ferry returning to Maui. And, you know, first of all, as you can see, a lot of people don't want it, you know, and so that makes it important. Traffic is a challenge. I can see that right away. And I'm not quite sure on this inspection issue because I'm watching right now and I see many vehicles going off and not being inspected, and I'm not sure where and when is all that. So, you know, there's a number of questions. That's why the EIS is so important to be answered. You know, I think these are things that people in Maui County deserve answers, and I think the state has not been fair to us. But beyond that, I'm just here to observe and, and hope nothing gets, nobody gets hurt because that's what we're here for, have a peaceful, uh, peaceful protest. You know what I mean? These people have a right to be heard, and I hope the people in the state see this and hear what's going on. Today, uh, Surfrider Foundation Maui and Save Kalui Harbor organized and just a whole lot of individuals came out to show their concern for our environment and the Super Ferry's first day of service. The injunction has been lifted. Uh, I think we all feel sad to see this taking place before an environmental review has been completed. We welcome the Super Ferry back to Maui again. It's needed here. Uh, many, many reasons. I don't want to take it long, make it long and drawn out, but those of you that want the Super Ferry, please come down and support it. Um, it's the best thing that could hap to happen to our islands. We need different types of transportation. Aloha and welcome to Maui. Aloha, my name is Lance D. Collins. Uh, I'm an attorney and uh, the coordinator for the Legal Observers Committee that's here today. We are uh, impartial. Uh, observers that are here just to watch to ensure that there's no overreaching uh, or violations of civil rights and if there is anything along those lines that we can be uh, witnesses in any court proceedings um, that may occur further on if that were to happen but I, of course I don't think it's gonna happen but better safe than sorry. But there's my sign, a Ole Super Ferry it means no to the Super Ferry because all it, it is gonna just bring down is just a lot of hatred with everybody. Nobody's going to communicate. Everybody's going to be angry with each other. Nobody's going to get along. Is that the way we want things to be? I don't think so. That's why we need to boycott all this. Get rid of Lingo out of office for sure. She's ruining our state and our city and our nation pretty much. I'm here in support of the Super Ferry. Today's unload and loading ain't bad as what it is. At 1015, what, what we actually seen was the unloading started at 10.15, the boat docked at about 10 o'clock. And what had happened was, from 10.15 to now, 10.45, the traffic is all gone. There was about 70 cars aboard, and there was a lot of people on the ship, but there wasn't bad traffic at all. A lot of traffic does begin with spectators and with, with people who supporting themselves or trying to make impact statements on their own. We don't want the Super Ferry to be here on Maui. I think it's going to bring a lot of invasive species and uh, problems to Maui. And we don't like the way that um, Linda Lingle, um, her whole approach about the whole um, changing the law and to suit big business. We don't like that. Hawaii needs competition. It's good for Hawaii. This is the land of Aloha. We're here segregated from the mainland. And you know, the islands need something like this. It's the airfare, competition for young brothers. And you know what? I'm glad that Lingo went through this. I voted for her and I don't regret it. They should protest all the big airplanes too that's coming. What's the difference? The big cruise ships, what's the difference? I mean, the super ferry is here one day out of the week. Now we can find another beach or somewhere to go for one day. A big difference. I'm here with Pacific Whale Foundation and I, we're very concerned about the super ferry and the unaddressed concerns regarding whales and the potential for whale collisions. You know, the super ferry is a new type of technology in Hawaii. It's larger than any other vessel that we have. It's moving at a very high rate of speed and it's moving through areas where humpback whales are found. In fact, we at Pacific Whale Foundation have been seeing humpback whales since before Thanksgiving. We've been seeing lots of whales and we're very, very concerned about the potential for collisions. I think it's going to be a very good thing, and I'm glad that the Super Ferry has allowed uh, uh, options for people and travel inner island. I, uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. There's still some things to be worked out. I think the invasive species project needs to be worked on a little bit. Um, the whale thing, I think they're making some great, great uh, changes in how they're handling things as far as their speeds in and out of the harbors and during the whale season uh, changing their course 
I think those are wonderful things. Actually, I'm upset with the whole thing, the whole Maui, the future of Maui period. My lifestyle has changed dramatically, and I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I don't know what to do. I mean, holding signs, what will that do? I should have jumped in the water, okay? But I have that thing about not jail. <laughs> and, and you go to jail in Oahu. I don't want to go Oahu. That is Maui coming, becoming. The flag upside down signifies a state in distress and the Coast Guard's supposed to come to our aid. And uh, it also signifies a nation in distress. All of our harbors sit on stolen Hawaiian homes land and our Hawaiian nation is very much in distress and I feel that the military was created to further militarily occupy um, their colony that they've got going on here. In a lot of countries, they don't have freedom like Hawaii has. And I think, you know, that these people are gifted and they should see what we have. This is not a way to show what we have, you know, being protesters. That's what I believe, because we have a lot of problems even with building, overbuilding and all. But, you know, this is an opportunity and that's why I came here for support. I just came out here just to show my support for you know, continued efforts against letting the ferry run as it is right now. I don't think I don't think we should allow it until we understand the impacts that it's going to have and, and have a chance to mitigate those things. There's there's a positive way I think that we can support this cause, and and I'm hoping is 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 violated as I feel by the way the super ferry has been allowed to operate in here by my government. Uh, as much as I feel that's a, a tragedy, um, you know I don't want to make this a worse situation through violence or or law breaking or anything like that. I, public safety is important to me and I just want to come out here and, and express my voice about this, uh, but do it in a responsible way. Yeah, I think the people that uh, are, are over here yelling, go back to Oahu, should be ashamed of themselves because they obviously don't live on the same Maui that I live on, where people care. This is everybody's state. This, the waters here belong to everybody in this state, not people from Maui, not people from Oahu, not people from Lanai, they belong to everyone. And some of these people are embarrassing themselves, and, and I'm ashamed. Yep, we have a problem here today because all the protesters are parking here to make a point. But if they wouldn't be parked here, we wouldn't have this problem. Okay. Well, if we didn't have the ferry and they hadn't broken the law, there wouldn't be a, a problem, would there? That's not a problem. It is a problem. This is land of aloha opportunity. Land of aloha. Why did you say that when they're putting in the intercontinental and the Ritz and everything? Well, Why didn't you say something then? Well, I know that. That's what it's about. We're here for the tourism as well as the local. No, we don't That's want the tourism. There's about. enough tourism here. If this place had enough uh, infrastructure, it would handle all this. But this is the problem. This is a violation of state law. This is overturning the Supreme Court. My name is Pat Masumoto. I'm not here today to protest or have anything to do with the Super Ferry. I'm here to promote laughter. I think we all need to lighten up and chill out. Maui today